Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Pytalist, and welcome to more video. Uh, the other day I did a funny meme here about fabric capacity. I was discussing that there are a lot of features that Microsoft only reserve to people that has got F64, which is like a tier of the fabric capacity. This video is not about capacity. So the question that was raised here, if that XML endpoint, uh, my colleague of mine, and we are starting to more muck around with fabric, got a certification. And then someone said here, I don't, yeah, what's his name? Yeah, this guy here said, some my experience XML endpoint is available for F2 and up, which I did some research, but then I would like to demo on how to make it happen. So if I go to my, my tabular editor, here, and then I connect to my, uh, let me just show here. So I wanna connect to that endpoint, which to get the endpoint, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, you go here, so you go to your fabric, uh, workspaces, so that's the workspace, a fab workspace. You go to settings, workspace settings, premium at right at the bottom. You go here, get, grab that one. So go to your table editor, just paste that here and click OK. So that will be prompt for an authentication. Uh, this one, and wait for a second. And just connect to this model here. So the model is here. The question is, so how can I edit this to make sure that I can read and write? And if you go to the documentation, it's a bit tricky because in Power BI was slightly different because the uh, enable XMLA read and write for, uh, this is Power BI. Um, it says to enable read and write premium capacity, you have to go to your capacity settings, um, which for fabric, if you go to, in my case, this um, tenant, uh, like a demo tenant for, for my company. So if I go here and my admin portal, and then if I go to capacity settings, I don't, I'm not an admin for, for this portal, but for the capacity, that I own in my Azure account, that capacity here, which is an F2 capacity, I have admin rights for capacity, even though I don't have capacity for the whole tenant. So, and then I go click here on my capacity, go to admin permissions, not this one, Power BI workloads. I need to wait a little bit. Hmm, what's going on? And it said about semantic models. So this needs to be uh, XML endpoint. You say read and write, which is already enabled. So with that, I go here on my tabular editor. So I just create a quick measure. Uh, let's say create new measure. I'm just gonna call it. So if you see my model, just to prove to you, so let's see uh, what I do. Open data model. So there is no measures here. Um, I open my table, no measure in this table. So let's create a quick one called uh, number of rows. And it's going to be an account rows. Of sales table. Just gonna make sure that's okay, formatted. Yeah, and then I click this button and then it's gonna save my model. There we go. It's possible if I refresh this and I have my measure here. So, and then I can a new report, get my measure, bang, done. It is possible. And what you need to do is to go to the capacity 
for that workspace is specific if you are the admin of that capacity, which is different from the admin of the whole tenant, you can do it. And F2 is enabled to XMLA endpoint. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, like the video, click the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and thanks for watching. See you guys.